of our lives. Have faith. Nature will take its course and we'll both have dates for the dance. I don't want just any old date. This year I want roses and poetry and romance. Yeah. Oh, oh, and a pink teddy bear with heart-shaped eyes. Clover's so lucky. Tell me about it. She's already found the love of her life, Chris. That's it. I am done with boys. I'm done with dates. I'm done with love. Chris? Done. You won't believe the stunt he pulled this time. Let me guess. He only called you eight times yesterday to say he loved you instead of his standard ten. Worse! For our three-day anniversary, he bought tickets to a monster truck rally. Boys are so overrated. As of this moment, I am officially off the market. You mean you're on a dating hiatus? That's right. No more boys. Like, that'll last through lunch. Clover, you're overreacting. There are tons of great available guys everywhere. Like those two? Salutations, lovely ladies. By my calculations, the Beverly Hills Mall has the highest ratio of heartthrobs to honeys. You can count me out of your equation. I am so not looking for a boy. Come on, let's get a non-fat latte and make ourselves visible. Where's our favorite coffee cafe? You, too, can find your truest love. Arrow through the heart dating experience? A computer matchmaking service? How cyber weird. Digital love? I don't buy it. I'm gonna try it. What do you think, Sam? I'm sure it's totally bogus, but it still might be fun. I'll be right here. Staying strong, solidly single, Boys need not apply. Hello, girls. Welcome to Arrow Through the Heart. Please answer the following questions. Icing is to cake as blank is to love. Smoochies. Intellectual honesty and political courage. Hey, I'm Stan. Stan? Standing here hoping you'll go out with me. As if. Hey, gorgeous. They say beauty's only skin deep. Let's you and I get shallow. <laughs> I'm on a dating hiatus. Dating hiatus, dating hiatus, dating hiatus. Which boy do you think is cuter? Boy A or boy B? Boy A. Definitely boy B. And thus I await with great anticipation our date tonight at the Pomme de Terre. We'll dine at seven, my lovely lady fair. <gasps> it's signed, Marco. Um, I thought you didn't believe in computerized dating. Well, 
I don't, but there's no harm in meeting Marco. Clover, it's not too late for you. You could still get an arrow through the heart match in time for the Valentine's dance. Oh, no. I don't want one. Since I have sworn off boys, I've had tons of free time. Last night, I completely reorganized my handbag closet. You have a handbag closet? I told you, I have tons of free time. <laughs> I'm Chet. You must be Alex. Uh, how did you know it was me? Well, I, I didn't, but you're the most beautiful girl here, so I was hoping. This is for you. I just wanted to say this isn't my usual. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't normally go on a blind. I feel silly about. Is this the face that launched a thousand ships and burnt the topless towers of Alien? You're quoting Doctor Faustus. Sweet Sam, make me immortal with uh, octopus. <gasps> Creamed calamari is my favorite. <laughs> No more beautiful guys! Hey, watch for your clever! I told you about Roy! He's such a dream boat! So's my Petey Pie! Let me guess. Your new arrow through the heart boyfriends? You mean my new Rye friend? <gasps> ah. mm. <clears throat> Have you guys noticed that half the girls in the school are crazy tweaked about their computer dates? Um. <clears throat> oh, sorry, Clover. I was just thinking about my dream boy, Chet. And I was thinking about my adorable Marco. Don't tell me you two are love-struck too. What did your dates do? Propose? Not yet. But look! Marco gave me an authentic cubic zirconium sweetheart ring. Chet gave me one made from genuine imitation diamondoid. Ugh! Okay, what is wrong with you two? You can't be this head over heels after just one date. Right after the dance, we're dropping out of school. Yeah, we need to free up more time to spend with our soulmates. What? Even the school studs are duds? Something is seriously whacked around here. I'm calling Jer. I don't see a problem, Clover. Whoop satellites have discovered zero evidence of hypnotic pathogens in the Beverly Hills or Beverly Hills adjacent areas. But there's something majorly disturbing going on. There's no current global crisis. You should enjoy the time off. Perhaps do a bit of dating yourself. I'm on hiatus. If Jer won't give me any backup, go in this mission alone. First things first, gadgets. Okay, old gadgets. M-ray contact lenses in aquamarine, ultra-sensitive two-clip banana barrette listening device, and chewable, glueable tracking gum. Oh. The elliptical swirls of color remind me of the whirlpools of your eyes. Your intellect is dizzying. I don't know what's grosser, their cheesy love talk or this liver-flavored tracking gum. Alas, my love, I'm forced to leave you. Until Friday's dance, dear Marco, parting is such exquisite pain. Zorro, now my gun 
some sensors tracking this guy. Timing Alex and Sam. I got a book, Chickadee. I promised my little sister some one on one coaching time before her synchronized swimming tryouts. I can totally dig that. See you at the Valentine's dance tomorrow night. <laughs> the sound of your voice, mon petit crêpe à sucre. Sacre bleu! Sacre bleu! Mandy, mon chéri, allow moi to bestow upon you this meager token of mon affection, s'il vous plaît. <gasps> Casanova thinks he can play Sam and Alex. He's got another thing coming. Glittery Snit Jewelry Store. So this is where he gets his trinkets. Oh. Morning. <laughs> Welcome to Glittery Snit. I'm Eugene. May I help you? Oh, I was just checking out your lovely quarry, darling. You are very beautiful diamonds. Uh, what's this, darling? Um, uh, I think someone must have just left it here. Do you go to Beverly Hills High? No, I go to the Institute for Gifted Teens. Eugene! Yes, Mommy? Have you made a sale to this girl? Uh, no, not yet. Buy something or get out! Yes, sir. Uh, uh, you want to go to the dance? Should I pick you up at eight? Will you marry me? Uh, step off! Okay, this is really getting out of hand. I gotta shut it down before... Rude much! Better find Sam and Alex. Marco is gonna love these. Pink is Chet's favorite flavor. I have to talk to you two. Not now, Clover. We have to get ready for the dance. I have to do my hair. Marco likes it up. I have to get a manicure. Chet likes me to wear seafoam nail polish. Earth to zombie chicks! This is a crisis situation. There is something wrong with your stupid soulmates. You're just jealous, Clover. Yeah, you had a chance for true happiness, and you threw it away for this dumb dating hiatus. You could have had a wonderful boyfriend. <sighs> but... You don't understand. Come on, Alex. We don't want to keep Marco and Chet waiting. You. 
means war. For me, me, me. Think again, pal. <gasps> now, you mind telling me why you're doing this? It's simple, really. Revenge. Last year, the love of my life broke my heart when she dumped me on Valentine's Day. Bitter or what? Now, with this little gizmo and the information I get from my booths, I can transform myself into any girl's ideal boy. They all fall madly in love with me. And now, I'll get back at all women by dumping them on Valentine's Day. Over my dead body? <laughs> <laughs> you should have used my dating booth. I would have been your sweetest dream. <laughs> Instead of your worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> you to Marco. And Chet. And Fabier. And Petey Pie. And Roy Boy. And Wally. And Jason. And last, and definitely least, Eugene Sniff. Oh! <laughs> I can't believe we share the eternal bonds of poetic, artistic, and intellectual enlightenment. I can't believe we What are you gonna do? Have me thrown in jail? You wish.
true calling. From now on, you may refer to me as the fabulous Clover professional matchmaker. Besides, the fringe benefits are great. What fringe benefits? Hold, please. I have a client. <sighs> Looks like the dating hiatus is officially over. <laughs> <laughs>